This marks our furthest south that we are going to be going in Africa on this trip. This is it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. on our around the world trip and we are here in the village of Palmarin in Senegal and we are in front of the ocean <laughs> and there's a shipwreck behind us just here very cool <laughs> so we've been staying at this place right here which is called Nane and we had a little hut for the last two days here and this place is a beautiful paradise full of palm trees and it's got a swimming pool and it's right in front of the ocean so it's been really nice recoup and recharge after some hot days on the bike last night we had the first time rain and a thunderstorm here in Senegal which was really nice and refreshing I think it was the first rain since Spain <laughs> which is pretty crazy yeah exactly this week after an eight month dry season the rainy season is just beginning here so let's hope it's not too crazy when we hit the road so let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are down here in Palmarin just at the mouth of the Saloon Delta and today we are going to be making our way all the way back up here to Dakar yes unfortunately this is as far south as we are going in Senegal we have our boat for Bumblebee and we must make our way back to Dakar and that was a really expensive shipping so we don't want to miss it <laughs> It will be really exciting today for our last ride here in Senegal. Um, half of the way we will take the motorway actually, just to make sure that we um, get there today. Our navigation says it will take us two and a half hours and for us probably more like six hours. So <laughs> better hit the road, let's go. All right. Bumblebee fired up and ready to go. Our final day on the road here in Senegal. Our final day here in Africa on the road. Because after this, we just have to pretty much drive the bike from our accommodation in Dakar to the container port to load Bumblebee into a container and on her way to Brazil. Yes. <laughs> of course, it's a little bit sad that we have to leave Africa already, but it's time for something new! Absolutely, and we have a long journey to go. We have the whole world to get around. Exactly. I never went to South America, so it will be completely new for me, and I'm super excited about that. But for today, we've got a tiny bit more south to ride, actually. We're just heading down to a small village called Jifer, which is at the very, very bottom of this little peninsula. And Jiffa is pretty much the furthest south you can get before you enter the Saloon Delta National Park. So we thought whilst we were down here, it was worth driving a couple miles down to Jiffa to have a little look around, check out the park before turning around and making our way back to Dakar.
Looks like we have arrived in Jifer. Oh, this looks like the end of the road for us. <laughs> so let's go have a look at the Saloom Delta. It's very stinky here. Yeah, it smells like fish here. Really, really, really strongly like. Really strongly. I think this is also where the fish is uh, coming in. Anyway, let's have a little look around, shall we? Okay, there's quite a lot of rubbish around here and there's fish scales all over the beach. But this is the Saloom Delta in front of us. And it is a massive, massive area of mangroves and little riverways. And this is actually the main river coming through, the Saloom River. I think that's what it's called anyway. And that's coming out to the ocean this way. So where we are now is right at the end of the land peninsula and the start of this, basically start of this national park in front of us. Yeah, unfortunately it wasn't possible for us to um, go across yesterday because the distance is just a little bit too great and where we asked they didn't have a boat so we couldn't really uh, experience the delta too much but yeah they said that we could um, take kayaks but i think it's a good couple of kilometers just to get over to those mangroves in front and you have to cross this massive river that's flowing out <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So I don't think that would have been a good idea. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. In instead, we just relaxed at the pool. <laughs> and this marks our furthest south that we are going to be going in Africa on this trip. This is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so let's turn around and head north then, shall we? Exactly. Yeah. Let's go back to Dakar. <laughs> There's a lot of people out and about on the street here in Palmarin but there are not very many cars on the road and that's because today is a public holiday and it means that most of the taxis and buses and everything that would usually be crowding the streets most of those are actually not running today so it should be pretty good for us to travel through back to Dakar there shouldn't be that much traffic yes <laughs> <laughs> So here's the salt lakes again to our right, the little salt pools of Palmarin, which weren't so impressive to see from the ground, but we had the drone and we flew it up in the air and it was amazing. Yeah, and so much nice bird life here on the right and on the left. It's so incredible to see. Yeah, this whole peninsula uh, is all part of a natural reserve. And uh, you can just see how much estuary and mangrove and wetland they have here. It's uh, amazing for birds, amazing. Yeah, but it is a little bit threatened as well by the climate change because the place where we stayed, he said that the uh, ocean is claiming more and more from the beach back like every year. They can see that they're losing on, on beach, which is pretty crazy to think that maybe in like 10, 20 years, this place can't exist like this anymore. Yeah, same situation when we were in St. Louis and they told us the same, that the ocean is coming faster and faster and faster every year. Whoa. God, the horns of all these cows are so impressive, hey? So impressive. Wow. So impressive. Oh, and there are some pelicans. Nice. Look at this area here. It's beautiful. Can you see all the pelicans flying over there in the yes. distance? Yes. Wow. Ah, oh, that looks so impressive. Look, there's some uh, pelicans. Oh, yes. Oh, here's one. Wow. He looks unreal. <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh, pelicans are amazing birds. Amazing birds.
Wow, it's so incredibly lush and green in this area. Look at all these palms. Yeah, I don't know if they're farming the palms here for coconuts or if it's natural like that, but pretty much this whole area here is full with palms and wow. they're really high. <laughs> yeah. It looks super cool. Yeah, I'm just astounded by how lush and green it is here. Look at it, it's just like bursting with the uh, plant life. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it's really, we haven't driven that far since the desert of Mauritania, but I mean, look at it, it's just a whole different world. Wow, so cool. <laughs> and we can see a couple of traditional huts over here as well. There's not that many of them, they're sort of amongst all of the cinder block and concrete buildings but you do see from time to time a little bit of tradition is still uh, alive in the buildings around well look guys there's a couple more vultures over here look at this wow over there too and over there Oh yeah, and over there as well. Oh, nice. Hello guys. Oh, he's going. Wow, they're so big. Wow. <laughs> nice birds. Wow. Look here in front of us. I think they're youngsters though. These ones, yeah, they're not as big as the ones we saw on our first day coming in. Look how big they are. They are massive. Oh Please my God. don't attack me, guys. <laughs> but yeah, they're such impressive birds. Here he goes. Hop, hop, hop. Whoa. Super cool. God, and when they open their wings, it's like, oh, it must be like over a meter, meter and a half wingspan. Incredible. And there's another one going off. Oh, look how they're flying around now. There you go, a little wildlife safari on our way back to Dakar. <laughs> I tell you what, I am loving how clear these streets are at the moment. Everything just feels so peaceful. I think I love it even more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these old cars, old stinky cars. It's so nice when they're not on the road. <laughs> Yeah, it's a perfect day for a long ride. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just keep in mind, if there's a public holiday, take your motorbike and go out. <laughs> It looks like we are coming up to the payage and I saw the sign that it was 500 francs for a motorbike so if it really is 500 francs that's not too bad let's see good point. bonjour ça va ça va, ça va. Merci. merci are we paying after He's giving you a card and then I think we give the card to the person on the, on the other side and then we pay our fees. Wee! Payage! <laughs> yeah, it's time to see what the Senegalese highway looks like. Aha! Yes! Aha! Here we 
we go, look at this. A big, nice, beautiful open road in front of us. And okay, it's a little bit cheating, but to be fair, we took the small roads going down, so to get back, woo, straight down this highway. Yes, and you see so many baobabs here on the right and on the left. That's true, that's true. Super nice. That is really nice. Yeah, Senegal truly is the land of the baobab, really. <laughs> yes. Time to put on my cruise control to 60 miles an hour. Ah. stopping at a air, a rest area, here on the payage, but there is no shade here at all. So we're going to set up our good friend the parasol. <laughs> Thanks Chris. <laughs> because guys, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah. It's so incredibly hot. <laughs> so it looks like we're coming up to another payage barrier here. So I'm not sure if we're going to be charged and then have to start a new one or what's going to happen. So what do I have to do here? Give her the card I reckon. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. Merci. Merci. So in the end that was a 23 kilometer section of payage and it cost us 500 francs which is about 75 cents. It certainly doesn't break the bank to take the payage here in Senegal. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> yeah, because I remember when we went through France and when you take the payages through France, that can really add up to a lot of money. Yes, it's true. Salut, bonjour. Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. All right, second toll booth, second payage. Uh, this time we actually paid on entry and we paid 400 CFA, which again is like 60, 70 cents. So yeah, a beautiful road and not very expensive at all. So we're getting closer to Dakar now and we've got Payage station number three. Hmm. Doesn't... Oh, oh not this one. Oh, that one. <laughs> I was so close to the right one. Yes. And then at the last moment it looked to me like it was not it was not open. <laughs> I went to the wrong oh, one. Nice. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> A good leg exercise for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Should I pull you or are you gonna be alright? No, I think I can just about make it. Oh I don't think that you can make it because it's Still a long way, actually. That's, uh, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> This one is 200 CFA. Oh, perfect. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Nice. And so many broken down cars here on the side of the road. <laughs> oh no. 200 CFA is not too bad, eh? That's really cheap. Yeah. That's like uh, about 30 cents. So we're now 13 miles away from getting back to our room in Dakar. About 20, 25 minutes left to go. Yeah, I'm super excited to see how busy the city is because like we said, today is a public holiday and 
in the small villages we haven't seen any cars or anything so let's see how it looks in Dakar yeah because when we left Dakar I can tell you it was sure busy stuck in the traffic of Dakar this is an incredibly busy city so it would be nice if that traffic was reduced just a little So this is the end of the payage and the start of the normal roads <laughs> <laughs> and the start of the traffic yeah that's right at the moment it's difficult to see if there's less people on the road or not i'm not convinced yet <laughs> We're nearing our accommodation now and you know what the streets are actually way less busy at the moment it is quite refreshing I mean there's still cars but it's no way near as crazy as it was before but we just tried to stop at the supermarket to pick up some uh, lunch and dinner and the supermarket was packed full of people and we had to give up actually on that they all had the same idea <laughs> yeah yeah everybody's feasting today i think so they're all going to the supermarket to grab their feasting supplies okay stop stop we have to turn here all right this is us cool here we go back at our accommodation back home <laughs> All right, here we go. Good evening, guys. We made it, happy and alive. Yay. Back to the car. Wow. <laughs> Back to the capital. <laughs> yes, in the end, we went through four payage barriers and it ended up totaling 1,700 CFA, which is about two euro 60. So not too bad and a pretty easy way back to the city. Yeah, it was really nice to see more of Senegal, to see some wildlife, to see some local villages, some small towns. I'm really happy that we did this little loop here. Of course, we're a little bit sad that we couldn't go further down south, but we have a different mission. Yes, we have just one more mission left here in Senegal. So in the next episode, we will be dropping off Bumblebee at the container port to send her to South America. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this will be the last episode here in North Africa and the last episode of season two. So make sure you join us for this one. So that's it from us today. We did at the end 106 miles, which is 170 kilometers. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comments below. We will see you next time.